together. Matt's let me down a few times before, but yesterday he let Teddy down when he didn't even show up for him. No, you're not having sweets. Matt was staying at my mum's, but I've told him he has to leave. I don't understand why he does the things he does. Part of me wonders if he's been seeing other girls. He's coming over to see Teddy today. I don't really want to see him, but I do have some questions I want to ask. I need some answers about his actions and why he did it and what made him even think to go out till 7am in the morning when he knew he needed to see his son. Like, what could generally be going through your mind? I don't understand. I don't understand how he thinks that it's okay to do that. At this moment in time, Matt doesn't even deserve to see Teddy, but I need to have this chat with him. <gasps> Who is it? Hi, Teddy. Oh. It's so hard to stay angry at Matt when Teddy greets him like that. I'm guessing that's a yes, little man. Right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Also, we need to have a chat, don't we? Yeah. I feel like, for me, I really, really need to stay around here. And I know it's on me... For what? For my job, <laughs> my son. You want to be around here for your son, yet you don't turn up for him. And, no, I agree, that's wrong of me. I should have been there. To me, it's like, why should I give him another chance? You had so many chances to make it right here as well, and you never did. Well, I know that. I understand to an extent, but then again, why haven't you changed your ways, like, since you've been 18? I don't know what's, why I do it, I just do. It's something I've got to figure out myself. It's hard to say no, isn't it? Especially when you're with your mates, you've what already had a, a couple of Once you've had one or two beers, that's when it changes. And then it's hard to say no. Doesn't matter if it's hard. Decisions aren't easy. I just want to know, the other night, was you with somebody else? No. I wasn't, not at all. What's wrong? Is there any way I could, like, stay around here for a couple more weeks? Not even just for me, just to prove, to show Teddy, like, obviously I messed up by not turning up. And it was absolutely disgusting of me. And I realise that now. Look, I'll give you a chance to stay at my mum's for a couple of weeks. But if you ever, ever let Teddy down again, you won't ever have a shot at it. You won't ever have a shot again. I wish I wrote a list of how many chances I've given you. You need a big old piece of paper. I don't even think, like, an A3 piece of paper would fit them all on. No. Maybe that wall there. <laughs> to hear him say I completely understand where you're coming from was really nice actually. I've never he's never said that to me. He's never agreed with me. I'm just praying for Teddy's sake that he changes. I think that we're just gonna be a lot happier separated for a little while and then we'll have to see where things go. seven months now and he's weaning so I'm trying him on different foods. I'm gonna have to go food shopping tomorrow. I had a great night out at my friend's birthday and I found a new house near where my mum lives. Well it's in Trialo by my mum's house. Ooh that's perfect for you isn't it? And it's perfect for me yeah. I should have known it was too good to be true. I've just found out that we haven't got the house. I rang Philip phones today yeah. to ask um, if they've heard anything about the house. Yeah. And they ran back and said someone has got it. Today? Yes. <laughs> I'm very good. Mm. It's just the fact of having it to happen soon. Yeah, I before know. Before the winter comes. I know. That's my, that's my most worry. It's draining. I know. Because now it means I gotta lock again. I know. And I got other things to think about than the mums and aunts. Anyone? 
I don't know, I'm stressing about it. I know, but I'm a stressed. I'm an overthinker. I'm a stressed. I just can't help it. I feel gutted. I imagined what the house would be like with all of us in there as a family. I think I put my hopes up too much on it, but it's something I do when I look forward to something. I tried to stop myself feeling that way, and I couldn't. There's nothing else we can do now, is it? We just have to have another look. I'm a full-time mother. There's no one who can have our law. Like, they think the things that can work, but I can't look for a house and do a job the same time <gasps> and look after our own, keep this house running the same time. I can't do it all. I can't. Don't need a reason or a prayer. Give out a shadow of a doubt. Oh, my. She'll never mourn, don't you? She'll never mourn, don't she? Jamie thinks I'm mourning, but it's because I feel like I'm doing so much. I know he works full time but I could really do with more support. It's not just my house. I'm not the only one that's going to be living there. You know, his baby's going to be living there. We need to make sure it's a healthy environment and stable for the baby. It both needs to be equal, so it is really important that we both communicate with each other and we both put our opinions across. He does need to step up and support me, it's not just my house I'll be living in, it'll be his too, his too.